Good morning to you. It's Monday morning. I am feeling much better after my illness last week. Thank you for asking. Uh, I had a weekend that was super lazy, spent big chunks of the end of last week and uh, the weekend in bed, recuperating, feeling like I'm ready to get going. First thing on our agenda this morning is a marketing meeting with Tracy and Maya to get all of our marketing ducks in a row before we have a whole day's meeting actually tomorrow with Sarah Sangster, who is helping us with our digital marketing uh, for the remainder of this year. More about that tomorrow. Anyway, today, because it's Monday, my message has to start the same way. It always starts on Monday, which is get out of the gate strong, get out hard, show yourself and the world around you that you mean business. Set out your own agenda, have your plan for the week, and have the conviction that you need to, and the discipline and the focus to stick to your own agenda in the face of a million things that uh, will otherwise distract you and potentially pull you off of that. Make sure that you do today, this week, what you need to in order to stay on track with your short-term, medium-term and long-term goals and objectives. I'll share my day as it unfolds, some wisdom as we go. Have an awesome one. I'll check in with you in just a little bit. Okay, so I finished my meeting, had late lunch, came in here four o'clock and uh, passed out for three hours. <laughs> so whilst I feel a lot better, apparently my body still needs a lot of rest as I continue to heal from the man flu from hell that I had uh, last week and over the weekend. Anyway, I don't like to see the day out without giving you some wisdom or at least imparting hopefully some knowledge or value to you. And today is really just talking to you about the importance of you and your business having the kind of meetings that we've just had. Um, it's just really important to uh, set deadlines, have projects, have focuses, um, have buy-in on those projects and those deadlines, know what it is you need to do in order to meet those objectives. Um, even if it's just you, if you're a one-man band, for example, it's just important to take time out to really spend time on planning what it is that you are going to be putting your time and energy into. There's a little saying out there, which I always put out there, which is, if you haven't got time to plan, you have to plan. In other words, the less you feel you've got time to do the plan, the more you feel planning is taking you away from something else, the more you are someone that has to do your planning. Um, you know, we're looking at the rest of the year. We're focusing really heavily on the next three months. It makes sense to take a little bit of time just to make sure that we know exactly what we're putting our energies into, where we're, uh, what we're um, investing in, but also as a team to make sure that we're all on the same page. Um, it's not just about pulling out, you know, deadlines and targets and and and, and, and objectives out of your ass and just making everyone. Um, achieve them. It's about a team setting these targets together, buying into the objectives, knowing what's expected of them, and then being willing to be held accountable and also to hold you accountable um, on achieving those goals. So even if you're one-man band, it's so important you take time out to have these kind of one-man meetings um, or one-woman meetings. If you are a small team like us, for example, super important that you get together, take some time out um, to really make sure you're focusing on the right things and to know, get the clarity on what it is that you are going to be putting your time and energy and money towards over the next period of time. We're going to be taking this to a whole nother level tomorrow. We've got a, a whole off-site meeting. We're going to be uh, me, Tracy, Maya, Vanessa, and we've got Sarah Sankster coming down. And we're going to be really taking what we've been looking at here and absolutely pressure testing, making sure it's definitely the right things. Also sharing with Sarah what our objectives are for this year and the next quarter making sure we're on the white lines um, and also it's about uh, getting the, the, the technical skills and, and, and the knowledge of we need as a team in order to implement what it is we're trying to achieve um, and yeah it's going to be a good one it's a whole day it's uh, it's I keep saying you've got to take the time out to do the planning so we spent the whole of today getting set for a meeting tomorrow that's going to be the whole of tomorrow but uh, this is this is literally like the next nine months of our time and energy that we're looking 
at uh, what, what, uh, what we're doing, it makes sense to take a couple of days or so just to make sure um, that you know what you're doing, that you're bought into objectives, that you're focused. Then you can be disciplined. Then you can set your targets. Then you can hold yourself accountable and then triumphantness. You can be triumphant. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Have an awesome one. I'm knackered. I'll see you then.